Even though Trump is in Vietnam for a summit with Kim Jong-un, he is still taking care of things at home. Obama and the Democrats have been trying for years to transform America into their socialist, open borders dream. But when Donald Trump got elected he started rolling it all back. Democrats thought they could stop Trump in the courts thanks to all of Obama's judicial appointments pulling the strings for them. But with Trump's latest win, he's undoing Obama's legacy for good. From Fox News. The Senate on Tuesday confirmed President Trump's nominee to be a judge on the liberal Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals in a party line vote, and, in a historic snub, the White House ignored the input of the judge's two Democratic home state senators in the process. Seattle attorney Eric Miller was confirmed by the Senate in a 53-46 vote. Miller's credentials make him a huge threat to the unhinged leftists who run the Ninth Circuit Court. They know Miller won't be their puppet and won't help them in their quest to stop everything the president tries to do. The Ninth Circuit has done nothing but obstruct the president, whether it was over his travel ban or his efforts to stop funding for sanctuary cities. But Miller, who was a former clerk to Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas, is much more aligned with the president's vision of a safer America. And that's why Washington state's two Democratic senators, Maria Cantwell and Patty Murray, opposed Miller's appointment so strongly. Trump is still, in many ways, just getting started. By the end of his second term, the Democrats' firm grip on the federal court system will be eliminated. We have the Senate, the presidency, and the Supreme Court. And now the most liberal court in the country is being turned red.